This video is to demonstrate the loading of a website up to GitHub. The website I'll use is this one from Paul Trani. It's on LinkedIn Learning and New South Wales government school students have access, free access, if they sign in with their school email. You will also find all the files here so that uh, they could upload uh, a website at any stage. Now, if I look at my files, I've actually got a Visual Studio version of this, and uh, but I'm going to use Dreamweaver first, and I'll make another video for Visual Studio. I have all my files in a Git folder on Microsoft OneDrive. That way, I can access the same file from many machines and uh, do uploads all over the place. Very easy. Before I start, I'm just going to copy my folder, back it up, so that I've got different stages. Um, that's I'm a little anal the way that I do things, but that way if I make a mess of things I can go back to my most recent backup. All right, I won't rename that one right now. Uh, let's keep working on the master file here. Uh, let's open the index file in Dreamweaver. Uh, very important in Dreamweaver that the site is set up. I think my site is already set up, but I'll go back and pretend that uh, it is not and we'll create a new one um, if you already have it set up then go into the site management looks like my set site is set up because I have my files here site so normally I would manage this site uh, right now uh, actually I'm going to have to manage it the, the new and the manage are very similar let's just go to manage and uh, we'll reset and make sure that um, it is pointing to the right directory so the dialog comes up when it feels like it uh, maybe that didn't click properly let's do that again manage sites okay now I set this up under this name I think uh, so I'll double click there. Oh, actually, I know I set it up under Portfolio Demo. Okay. Make sure you've got a name that you want here. You can have spaces and make sure it's pointing to the directory that you have chosen. Not one of the files inside of the directory. Uh, if I double click here, uh, I do not want one of these folders. I want to come back out. Uh, yeah, I want to make sure it is that folder which holds all this stuff. So we select that folder. Okay, save, and we should see all our files over here. Now, oh, actually, I need to check one more thing there. Uh, notice that this is all grayed out. Let me go back to my file, and uh, that's unusual because I can't see a dot. Uh, git ignore file or a um, dot git folder so normally that's the reason that everything is grayed out here let's come back to that a little bit later and see now I have already got a git directory here I can either show that or remove it using the um, git menu in the directory okay so this looks like it's already hooked up to uh, github uh, as i said before if you do not see git directories in here uh, um, and i'm not sure where they're hiding you need to select the box Let's go just have a look once more at the site folder. I'm repeating myself a little here, but uh, associate the directory there. By the way, if uh, you have not downloaded the Git uh, software, what's it called? Um, the Git uh, client, you will need to do that and because this will not integrate with github without that git client okay so it is already linked here i need to go now to my github account and 
set up a new repository. Uh, so I'm going to call this portfolio demo. Uh, and uh, description. You would normally put a decent description here. Um, we'll leave this as public. We can add a license if we wish. There are all sorts there. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to create the repository. I might add a readme file and we'll create the repository. So that'll be sitting here. Uh, I need to copy this address, portfolio demo. And we have a look and there, uh, there's the readme file sitting in there. That's all. Back in Dreamweaver, I need to uh, uh, see this is already associated with my old uh, GitHub directory. That's why the check wasn't available on my managed sites. I need to manage the remotes. Normally there will be a button here to manage remotes. Um, so I have to uh, delete that. Let's delete it. Done. Okay, create remote. That is the button that you will normally see. I need, I know the website because that's on my clipboard. We'll call this portfolio demo. Here I cannot have spaces. It'll warn you if you, uh, if you add spaces in. Uh, I'm going to put in my uh, details here. Uh, and I'm going to test and I'm going to save those credentials. It'll save me time because I'm going to be uploading and so on all the time. Successful. Good. Save that. All right. Let's uh, check this box here. And that should check all of these files because none of these files are either um, registered on my local directory as as linked with github and none of them are up on github so that's the first thing now i have to commit those stage files to the versioning that is in the um, local directory now i'm going to call this demo initial upload and uh, say so, okay uh, so they are all committed and the directory is clean now I am going to just fetch any files that are up there I know there's a readme file that's sitting up there uh, so let's just fetch anything make sure that the um, the local is exactly synchronized with the uh, uh, with the remote up in git. All right, now there's a git pull and there's a git push. I'm going to try, well, maybe we'll pull down first, see if that actually works. Everything is correct here. We've got the right directory. Uh, let's say OK. Git fetch. And cross fingers taking its time it failed unrelated histories okay let's try a push I've got a feeling it's going to fail as well uh, okay and push so push is pushing up into the cloud and that's failed as well okay at this stage I'm going to go back to my directory here I'm going to refresh I still can't see a dot git directory here so I have got problems um, status fetch all the remotes okay here uh, Okay, same again. I think we're going to say it's, yep, 
refusing to merge unrelated histories. All right, while I'm on the video, uh, we're going to try something here. Uh, let me just check the file. Uh, I, I have got a readme there. 9.59. No, that's not today. All right, let me go and have a look at GitHub. Refresh. Uh, I doubt there is going to be any more files up here. No, that's right. Uh, it's still only saying one commit, so nothing has happened. All right, we've got a problem. Uh, I'm going to try a soft reset. I'm not quite sure how this works. Uh, let's try that. Uh, current branch was reset. Don't know about that word, resetted. Okay. Now I'm going to try a push. Let's see what happens. Uh, right. Now let's just see the updated directory. Is it updated? No. I wonder what has happened. These are all staged. Let's commit. Um, uh, uh, upload after reset. And let's try that. Okay, let's try the git push now. And we'll cross fingers. Uh, here we go. Here we go. It's looking much better. Uh, and it's, there are some big image files there, so that's why it's taking a while. Successful. Good. Done. Okay. Nothing more to commit. Back in... Uh, GitHub, we refresh, and there we go. We've got our files here. All right, now I'm just going to keep going once more. We can see what's in the index file, exactly what it, we have before. Now, at the moment, this is saying Portfolio Nev. I have not viewed this in a browser. So this is the local file in a browser, and the title is dash 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 nev. Let's make a change. Let's take all these dashes out of here. Control S, Alt Tab, F5. On mine it's Function F5. And immediately I have got a change up here in my title. Let's go back to Dreamweaver. Let's go see if anything has been modified. Oh, look, the index file's been modified. It's pretty smart. Let's stage that. Uh, change title. Okay. Can I hit? I can't hit enter. I've got to use the button. Okay. Now, there is one file to upload. Let's upload it. Push it. Up we go. This should be quicker because it's just one file. All right. Done. Now let's have a quick look at uh, GitHub. Uh, hang on, we are on. That's on the local file. Let's go to GitHub and let's refresh. Uh, let's go back to the branch master. Let's go back to demo. Come on, back to demo. Uh, we now have three commits, and we can see what's going on. Let's have a look at those three commits. Okay, and that final changed title. Let's go look at that. And here we can see what the old was and now what the new is. And that is just amazing. 
Okay, so from now on, any changes that we make, we can simply uh, go through, commit the stage files, uh, fetch any remotes that we need, and we can push or pull. So that's it for this video. Um, there is a Word document in that file. Oh, that's just one check. I wonder if the Word document made it up into uh, GitHub because, uh, oops, not there. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Um, portfolio. No, not version two. Oh, I'm lost. Uh, I'll put a link in the comments to see whether uh, to a Word document with those written instructions if they make it up to GitHub.